Me and Orion are gonna go to this camera store in Hartford. What's it called? Uh, it's called Camera Bar. Camera Bar. We were trying to go to B and H today, but they kind of got bumfuck hours on Fridays. Yeah, like at two o'clock on a Friday, like what the fuck? They open at like twelve. <laughs> what kind of like? Why are they only open for two hours on a Friday? And then on Sunday it's 10 a.m. straight 6 p.m. But anyway, we're gonna go check out this place, see if we can upgrade our cameras a little bit on the cheap. We got a T4i, and we got Orion's little. Got this on sale at Target for 150 bucks. I've been daily vlogging on this camera and I love it. See, we're just gonna try and upgrade some stuff on the cheap. We're in, we're in the, apparent, according to Berkey, this is the thicket. And um, it's a very New York vibe with all these buildings, so where the hell is it? Oh, in the camera bar. We're trying to get a mean zoom. This place was just awesome. They've been open for like 65 years. years. That's so long. In the same location. I, I, I think I'll be back again. We'll be back again. Oh, so, since going to the camera bar, uh, well, at the camera bar, I guess I'll tell you what all I bought. I bought a little 22 inch reflector. Like, it's like a five in one. It's got all different types, all different types of colors. Uh, I bought this really nice light stand. Cheapest one they got. 30 bucks. Uh, and I also got some like random Manfrotto like clips and mounts and stuff for a light stand. But other than that, the real trip we wanted to make was B&H, but of course they were closed because like the hours they have are completely bunk. Uh, but we went and we're back and I got a new lens and I just wanted to reveal it here. I'm really excited to finally have this lens. Uh, you guys probably don't know all of the gear I have. I'll probably do like a what's in my bag type of video eventually, but I only have like four lenses now. Now after this one, I had a fisheye, I had a 24 mil, and I had a 50 mil, but I really just needed like a versatile zoom. And I did a bunch of research. The 28 to 135 is like the sharpest cheap zoom that I could find, and that's definitely what I was in the market for. I definitely knew what I wanted to get whenever I went to B&H, so made the whole trip a lot easier. Also, at B&H, I got like a little quick release adapter thing that just goes on top of my glide cam so that whenever my battery dies, I don't have to like completely tear down the whole glide cam just to replace a battery. So it's gonna make filming at drift events a lot easier. This lens is gonna make filming drift events like from afar a lot easier, so I'm really excited to see how this works and uh, I'm gonna throw some test shots in right now. Got the camera locked down on a tripod. One thing I've noticed with this lens, it's got something I'm pretty sure it's called like focus barrel distance travel. Some weird thing along those lines. Basically, I'm focused in on this water bottle. I'm gonna bring it all the way out the macro. You can see the brick on the right hand side of the wall, on the right hand side of the frame. There's a good portion of the brick. I'm gonna go all the way to infinity, which is the other side of the focus ring. And the brick is compl almost completely gone. And basically it means you have a cheap zoom, uh, to my understanding. 
I, I, I mean, I paid $200 for this lens used at b and I, I just needed a cheap, versatile zoom. I'm getting everything that I honestly wanted out of this lens. And just with the shots I've gotten around the house, like, I already know I'm gonna like this lens out shooting any type of project. But I really think that this lens comes into its like prime sharpness around f8. Anything below that, still a little blurry for my liking. Maybe if it's dark outside, I'll, bl I'll blow it down, but I'd rather go up in the ISO. So a lot of you guys might be wondering what I'm doing with the Cressida, and for those of you who don't know, I have a second car other than my Avalon. I have a 1986 Toyota Cressida, completely stock. She's a beaut. Oh. Honestly, I honestly love this car so much. Um, basically, my plans with it, I got a 2J, it's NA, it's a NA 2J. I'm gonna throw a single turbo on it, nice big one, nice five speed on it, and then after that, I'm. it's basically my dream car. Maybe like a body kit, lowered, like some Watanabe's, like wannabe Watanabe's, either, either ones. It, this is the Cressida though. I have to take a picture of it and send it over to Strange Planet because uh, we got a little something something in the works that you guys will definitely see soon in the future. She runs. Orion got her jumped up with the goddamn 7.3, of course. You need a monster. Avalon just wasn't trying to do it. But she, she, she runs, she idles. Like as far as this being a stock car, it's fine, it's a completely fine stock car, but I don't want a completely fine stock car. <sighs> Thanks for watching everybody. I really want to start doing daily vlogs. Orion's really pushing me to just upload daily. He's been doing it. If you, if you don't subscribe to Orion somehow and you're watching this video, Roland Twin Turbo, right here. Everybody follow me on Instagram and follow me on Snapchat. I'm gonna go ahead and link those. Not right here, I'm gonna link them in the description. Uh, everybody just have a, have a good day, have a good night. I'm gonna upload this tonight, so uh, peace everybody.